EFW is very well known in the aeronautical community and we've been doing the refurbishment of cabins in 380s for a long time. For instance, a plane that's coming here after 10, 20 years service has to be maintained and refurbished and we apply this maintenance uh, expertise into this plane. In the former times, EFW was developing and making its own jets. Besides that, there was a big activity around maintenance of fighter jets, MiG-21s, MiG-23s, helicopters for the former DDR Army. And since the war fell down, the company was taken over by the predecessor of Airbus as part of the engagement and rebuilding the Eastern Germany and developed the site at one of the leading maintenance, repairs and overhaul sites worldwide. There was a very strong demand to convert planes from passengers to freighters that could uh, not be done in the classical sites that uh, at that time Airbus belonged. And that's why Airbus put a lot of emphasis to develop these capabilities in Dresden, in our site in EFW. Elbe Flugzeugwerke is the center of excellence for developing the Airbus freighter conversions. We have developed various different aircrafts for long haul, medium haul and short haul. And these aircrafts can cover a range from 18 to 63 tons. To name these programs, we have two major programs, which is the A330 program and the A320, A321 program. The conversion starts with the engineering uh, portion, which comes here from EFW site Dresden. We remove all the equipment installed in the aircraft. So we are talking about all the seats, all the galleys, all the lavatories, which have to be removed. Then we do all the structural work, where of about 300,000 parts gonna be changed. We also change the complete floor grid system and of course the cargo loading system. And then it comes to the reinstallation of all parts for the electrical and mechanical components. And finally, we do roughly 500 tests through all the aircraft, starting from the engine, the landing gears and all technical things which has been adapted. We have to make sure the aircraft can fly always safely and if there's new requirements from the authority we make sure the aircraft will be always flexible and in good shape for the customers. We do the A330 conversion mainly but we also have modification sites in the US, in Singapore and in China. All over we have seven modification sites. Elbe Flugzeugwerke is owned so 55% by our main shareholder in Singapore, STA, which is the leading MRO company in the world, really the biggest one, and to 45% to Airbus. It means we have very strong backers behind us. And we have the very unique opportunity to become really a global player in the aircraft manufacturing world. That we produce worldwide, not only in Dresden, so we are expanding and having a role beyond our boundaries and uh, playing a major role in shaping the, the cargo and aeronautical community for the decades to come. Many people don't know, but every time you enter into an Airbus plane, you are on what we call Saxon ground, because we manufacture all the grounds all the panels of any Airbus plane in the world. Die Leichtbaupanels, die Sandwich Panels, die wir herstellen hier in EFW, setzen sich aus wenigen Grundkomponenten zusammen. Das erste ist ein äh, stabiler Kern aus äh, Honeycomb, also Honigwaben, sind wirklich Sechseckwaben aus technischem Papier und diese Kerne verpacken wir in zwei Deckschichten äh, aus Priprex. Priprex sind Glasfaser oder Kohlefasern getränkt mit Harz die wir auf diese Wabenkerne verpressen. Und das zusammen ergibt einen sehr stabilen, steifen und festen Verbund, den wir dann einbaufertig herstellen, zum Beispiel mit Randversiegelung versehen, mit Gewindeinsatz verstärken oder mit einigen anderen Einbauten als Designelement dann herstellen, damit es im Flugzeug oder in der Bahn eingeschraubt werden kann. Also die Platten sind deshalb so besonders, weil es sich um einen extremen Leichtbau handelt. Wir verwenden deshalb auch Carbon- und Glasfasern als sehr teure Materialien 
um eben ein möglichst niedriges Gewicht bei hoher spezifischer Festigkeit und Steifigkeit zu erhalten. Jedes Kilo, was wir einsparen im Flieger, ist eine zusätzliche Nutzlast, die im Flugzeug transportiert werden kann. 10 Kilo einzusparen in einem Produkt, was wir herstellen, spart am Flugzeug 2000 Liter Kerosin. Die zweite Eigenschaft äh, ist die Brandfestigkeit. Wir müssen dafür sorgen, dass die Panels nicht brennen, dass nicht so viel Smoke, Qualm entsteht und dass keine Hitze ausgestrahlt wird. Und natürlich müssen die Panels auch Umwelteinflüssen widerstehen, wie zum Beispiel Pilzbefall, Schimmel, Sand, äh, Abrieb und natürlich auch aggressiven Flüssigkeiten wie Öl, Skydrol oder vielleicht auch einer Cola. Generell kann man sagen, überall wo Gewichtseinsparung gefordert ist und damit vielleicht auch Treibstoffeinsparung gefordert ist, da sind unsere Leichtbauprodukte im Einsatz und werden auch zukünftig dort stärker nachgefragt werden. Dresden has been developed in the last years with one hotspot of high technology worldwide. EFW is a traditional German company. We love high tech, we love workmanship, but at the same time, we love developing our employees. Most of our employees are here in the second or third generation. The, the fathers, the grandparents were working for EFW. It's a love to the product. We want to grow and uh, developing more elaborated and complex products around the cabin area, monuments and, uh, and systems around that. And this is the next foot of expansion we're going to go in. We are really starting in with a partnership with our both shareholders. And this way is not only very promising, but will have an, a strong, strong growth in the coming years with the renovation of the fleet and the demand to have an optimized and easy to turn around and even more sustainable products bringing into the cabin of the plane.